Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to compare two fast charging technologies that are on the market right now. On one end, we have the OnePlus 6T that has the dash charger or what used to be called the dash charger that comes on the box with it. And it's for the most part been the reigning champ for quite some time. Dash charging is very fast. On the other end, we have Huawei Supercharging that basically just got bumped up to 40 watts with the introduction of the Mate 20 Pro as well as the Magic 2. So we're going to do a comparison between these three devices and see which one performs best in 30 minutes as far as just getting you that quick top off whenever you just need battery and the battery is running low. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check it out. So in front of us, we have all three devices. We have the OnePlus 6T uh, that's running a 3700 milliamp battery. So a little bit bigger than what we've had before on the OnePlus 6. Uh, we have the Honor Magic 2 and that supports a 3400 milliamp battery. Although it looks kind of bigger than this phone. Yes, it has a smaller battery because of a sliding mechanism. Now, when we jump over to the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, we have a 4200 milliamp battery. So in reality, if I have to kind of put them in order, this would be the order of battery, 3400, 3700, 4200 milliamp. Uh, both the Huawei and the Honor support the 40 watt chargers. Now this one comes with it in the box and you can pretty much see here, it says Huawei Supercharge 40 watts. That's the charger that comes with it. It came with it when I was uh, from the launch event. And this is a Chinese plug, which surprisingly works in the US. And as far as the OnePlus 6T, we're using again the same one out of the box. I haven't even taken out the plastic um, and I'm just using the included cable and the charger. And we're gonna be using this to charge this device. And uh, for the Mate 20 Pro, this is the exact one it came with it, although it was a European style cable, so I'm just using an adapter. But other than that, it's the same 40 watts supercharger Huawei. And we're gonna be charging it again. All the cables are the ones that came with it. All the chargers are the one that came with the devices. I've depleted the battery on all three devices. And what I mean by that is I've let the devices run all the way till they actually shut down. Now it doesn't mean necessarily that the battery is down, but this is kind of a good reference point to be able to get them all at the same level. Uh, they each have a different size battery. So obviously charging and this charging is gonna be different. So the only way I can keep them level is to make sure that they all deplete. I do not recommend you doing this for your devices. The optimal charging um, states uh, for any device essentially is don't let your device go below 5%, 5 to 10%. And then of course, don't let the device stay too long above 90%. That usually will extend the battery life for your phone. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in these chargers and we're gonna start a time-lapse showing you guys how much are we able to charge each one of these devices in 30 minutes. So basically, if you had a phone that the battery is almost dead and you have one of these chargers and you plugged it in for 30 minutes, how much can you expect out of that phone? looking at approximately basically what you can expect out of a 30 minute charge. Um, 84% still charging again, 54% uh, and almost 70%, 69% here sitting in. So realistically between the three batteries, I think these technologies are very, very fast. A smaller battery obviously will recharge faster, but the really com big comparison you can see here is the 3700 milliamp battery and the 4200 milliamp battery. This has a bigger battery and it went up to 70% for the 
faster than this one was able to go to about 55%. Overall, you're not gonna be disappointed with the speed of the charging on these devices, but one thing you wanna keep in mind is that you need to use the original chargers. None of these speeds will be performing the same way they are if you use an aftermarket charger. You have to use the one that came in the box with these devices. I hope you were able to see in this example that if you, for any reason, forget to charge your device overnight and you wake up the next morning with, let's say, 5 10%, and you need to top off real quick before you go about your entire day, you can at least get 50% recharge on any one of these devices that I showed you today. Now, of course, as far as performance, we saw that the Mate 20 Pro did perform the best as it has the biggest battery and it did charge up pretty well. And of course, second would be the Magic 2. And then the 60 did come third, but you have to kind of consider the price point to value feature. The Mate 20 Pro, although the leader, is a close to a thousand dollar phone where the 60 is still around $550 and it had it basically had a 3,700 million battery, still charged you up in 30 minutes over 50%. I think it's a really good value looking at it, basically looking at it from just pure numbers. Um, but as far as actual speed, of course, you are gonna be giving it to whoever wins, which essentially is the Mate 20 Pro. The Magic 2 is a pretty close second, even though it has a smaller battery, obviously it will recharge faster. But when you look at them basically from what's available for us in the US today to be able to kind of use as a device, the Mate 20 Pro will be basically something that you can definitely enjoy, fast recharge, and of course, really fast connectivity all over the place. Uh, the 60 is extremely well valued and really well placed in the market. And of course, it's available to us not only from OnePlus as an unlocked version, but you can actually even pick that up directly from T-Mobile. So keep in mind what you have access to and what's the best value for you. Um, all these devices are great. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this video? Does it ever happen to you where you forget to charge your phone and you wake up in the morning with a really low battery and you wish you had a phone that charged it so fast yet you didn't have to worry about carrying a cable with you for the rest of the day? Uh, this is TK. I want to say thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for all these years of checking it out. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.